Hi guys, my name is Ava and I just had a septoplasty. So I'm three weeks post-op right now and I look fine. I'm not feeling too much pain. So I figured now would be the best time to talk about my septoplasty experience. So this video is really meant for someone who is about to have the surgery or is considering it and looking at all of the side effects and the things you have to deal with when it comes to post-op. So I'll just give you some quick backstory. I have really bad allergies and breathing issues. I have asthma and I get immunotherapy allergy shots. We have been working really hard to try and fix my breathing, but it was just never even. The left nostril would always take in less air than the right one and sometimes if I was like working really hard the right one would get swollen and I would end up not being able to breathe as well. So it became really bad when it came to taking nasal sprays because this one is weak so it wouldn't take that much and then this one would just get clogged up. So I'd also get really bad post strip and if you don't know what post strip is it's basically like snot that goes down your throat. It's really nasty and it sucks. So I thought I was having tonsil issues and I went to the ENT, he said no, but you do have a deviated septum. So if you don't know what your septum is, it is basically this whole bone down your nose and it's supposed to be straight, but mine of course was deviated. So the left, instead of looking like that, it looked like that. So this blocked off part of my nose and that's why I couldn't breathe as well out of my left nostril. He also told me I had swollen turbinates, which are a part of your sinus area and how you take in air. I don't know much about turbinates, so don't quote me on that. But he said he would recommend me for surgery. The surgery is elective, so you don't have to get it. It is not life-threatening. You can do it on your own time, and yeah. So most of the time I'll hear septoplasties with rhinoplasties, and some people will get a rhinoplasty or more commonly known as a nose job to fix cosmetic reasons, but they can also get it to help fix their breathing. There is nothing wrong with the shape of my nose, it was just my septum, so I just got a septoplasty. So one thing that happens in the surgery is that they're going to put stents or splints in your nose. So of course he's gonna fix your, your septum, but then to keep your septum in place he's gonna put these stents. So the stents are pretty big, so the stents are there so you don't move the bridge of your nose because it is sort of malleable. Um, you know, when you move your skin, you might move your bone or like hurt it a little bit. But it is also what's causing a lot of the bleeding because you also have stitches in there. So you have to make sure that no blood gets caught in between the stent and your skin. And you also have to make sure it doesn't get in your stitches because that hurts a lot. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the surgery. Hey guys, so today is the day of my septoplasty. Um, it's 9 a.m. My surgery starts at 10.15, so we're gonna go to the surgery center soon. I haven't eaten or drank anything since 10.30, but I've peed like four times because I drank so much water before. So, I'm... Oh my god. Hopefully I'm not in too much pain. That's the thing I'm worried about. And yeah. Let's go to surgery. <laughs> Got my bracelet. I signed all the paperwork. They're gonna take me back soon and get me dressed, which I didn't realize I had to get dressed. I went into the surgery center and I filled out paperwork. I have a parent who's a doctor, so of course he was like, you're gonna get an IV put in you. You need to stay really hydrated. So. That kind of sucked. <laughs> so I did pee like four times, but they did find my vein pretty well. They put an IV in my hand, which sucked. The reason why they put the IV in my hand was because my age group tends to like fold their arms like this and like, like, sh I don't know, what, what's it called? Like shiver when they're having surgery. So if they were to put the IV in my elbow, then you know, it would just fold up on itself. So the safest place was the hand. I even have like the bump from the IV here. You can tell it's like right there on my vein. <laughs> so I had to get dressed and they put an IV in my hand, which hurts. And we have my blood pressure. And here's my mom. It's 1.14, my surgery's supposed to start in a minute. <laughs> and the doctor just got here. So we might be late. So the surgery lasted about an hour and a half, um, and as soon as I woke up, they did some tests or whatever, and then they let me go. I'm gonna show you the softest video ever of myself. It's right after I got home, and I'm still loopy from anesthesia, so here you go. 
Hello. I'm at home. I, I have general anesthesia and my throat hurts because I had to put a tube down my nose. But Aaron's here. I'm holding the camera also. Yeah, he got me yogurt land and it's good. <laughs> and my nose is bloody. But it's good. Doing good. So I slept. My anesthesia wore off and I was fine. One thing that's really nice about the septoplasty surgery is that you can eat and drink right afterwards. So I made sure I ate yogurt land, of course, and I had pasta, of course. The doctor prescribed me painkillers, um, but he said they're not mandatory at all. He also prescribed me antibiotics for my nose. So here's me a couple hours after surgery. Um, I have like green stuff on my gauze too, so that's pesto, so just watch. Okay, I'm at home now. I'm, my nose is bleeding through the gauze a lot, so we've changed it already four times. But I'm not in too much pain, so I'm doing good. Hi guys, so I am about six hours post-op, five or six hours. My doctor put splints in both my nostrils, so I'm trying to eat right now, and it's kind of hard because I can feel them. It doesn't hurt, but it feels weird. Oh, I think I just got pasta stuck in, like, right here. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not really in any pain. I took a nap so the anesthesia could wear off because when Aaron left, I was... I cried because I was super emotional. <laughs> um, but other than that, I'm doing okay. Um, this is... It's been a while since I bled through a gauze, too, so the bleeding's gone down substantially but we need to keep it on. I can breathe through my nose just fine. Oh wait, no I can't. <laughs> There's stuff in it. Yeah, I think I might be bleeding again. I don't know. They said that I should clean my nose out with saline and I just sleep upright. So like this right now, I'm on the couch and I have all these pillows. Um, I also have a mirror in case I need to change my gauze on my own because it was getting bad when Aaron was here, so. Yeah, other than that, I'm good. I'm uncomfortable, but I'm not really in any pain. Um, I think I'm gonna take a pain med um, around six or seven, so I'm not in too much pain and I'll be able to sleep. But other than that, I'm okay. Two thumbs up, but I'm holding my phone. <laughs> So for the surgery, you have to know you're going to go through a lot of gauze. They call it a mustache gauze, so you put it right here, and that way any blood that comes out of your nose will be caught by the gauze. It's important to change it out really frequently, otherwise it can harden onto your face, and the blood, you'll have to like rip it off of your skin, which hurts really bad. Okay, here's my nose. Oh, Jesus Christ. So I can kind of feel the, the pain. I can I can feel the stent when I press down on it, but we're gonna start icing my nose soon after I'm done eating. Oh, I think this is hardened onto my face. Yeah, it definitely is. Expect to bleed a lot. <laughs> this is just from like five minutes. Yeah, yeah, you can tell my nose is swollen. Um, I'm trying to eat right now, but we're gonna ice my nose as soon as I'm done. Everyone's here for dinner and I'm bleeding out of my gauze. <laughs> I also like to put in, I couldn't poop for five days after surgery. Let's go to day two. So the first night after surgery is really hard. You have to sleep upright after surgery so you can prevent swelling or bleeding from happening. Also, it's not safe for you to like sleep on your side because you could like push your nose onto your bed and that would hurt a lot. So I slept upright for about five days. I think four. Four days after surgery. But yeah, the first night of recovery, I did not sleep well at all. I woke up almost every hour. So here's a clip from 2.30 a.m. <laughs> where I'm just mad. 2.30 a.m. Not sleeping very well. I'm afraid I'm gonna lie down too far. I just took more pain pills so I can sleep. Good morning. It's 7.30. Someone woke me up today, so we're just chilling. That was one of the longest nights of my life. <laughs> I ended up falling asleep at 12 because it was hard to get adjusted and sleep upright, but 
The splits aren't even bothering me. The thing that bothers me is, is I'm so congested that it's just so hard to fall asleep. I'll wake up, I'll catch myself waking up every 15 minutes and trying to salivate or drink water just because my mouth is so dry. I realized we'd been doing the saline solution wrong, so I'm much more congested right now than I should be. <sighs> So we're gonna do it right today after I eat breakfast. My lips are extremely chapped and my mouth just feels so dry. But my nose doesn't hurt that bad. I'm actually behind on amoxicillin pain pills and I decided I don't want to take them and I'm just gonna switch to taking Tylenol. You guys say hi to YouTube for waking me up. So the rest of the day was pretty normal. Um, at one point I had a friend over and I lost my voice. So here's that. Hey guys, I can't talk. Natalie's here. I'm gonna go clean out my nose. I just switched my clothes. Evan, hi. What happened to you? I don't know. I also got a first glimpse of my face without my gauze because my nose had stopped bleeding a little bit and it was, it was weird. You don't show any expression, and then like after I'm done expressing, you go, ha <laughs> <laughs> It's like really awkward. Yeah. Oh my god. You look like a dinosaur. It looks like lopsided. Yeah, I know. I think it's because you're getting control in, in half of it before the other. Yeah. You look dumb, look at you. <laughs> it's just funny. You can't you control like, your upper like lip. Yeah, I was telling like, Natalie, I kind of look like, um, oh, I look like a Dr. Seuss character. You really had to think about that one, huh? Yeah, I forgot. So on day three, I was getting pretty frustrated. After surgery, of course, your body's healing, so you don't have as much energy. So it was really hard for me to just kind of sit around and not really lift anything heavy, like I couldn't lift my dog. Also, the constant care my nose needed was really tedious. You know, it's okay. That's what you have to do to maintain your health, but it was pretty annoying. I just really wanted my stents out too. It was just getting so frustrating not being able to move my nose. And it was also pretty hard to breathe because I was really congested. So I'm gonna show you a clip of me um, talking about day three and I'm like breathing really heavy. It's cause I'm really congested from blood. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just ate mango. Oh my God, it looks so stupid. So it's day three, I woke up at nine. So the right side of my nose is still bleeding pretty bad. Everything's a lot harder to do. I'm really tired. I actually did sleep pretty well last night. I only woke up a couple times. The gauze has been on so long it's starting to kind of rub me raw. Oh my god, that's me trying to yawn. <laughs> Today I stopped using gauze, so I'm currently looking like this. However, I am still kind of, um, the left nostril stopped for the most part, though the right nostril is still pretty bloody. Um, I have lots of crusties and blood clots in my nose and it's really annoying. I'm getting like random spurts of pain. The part that hurts most is my septum, like right here on my skin. Um, but anywhere here is fine, it's just swollen. My nostrils are usually very malleable, but like, see this one, I can barely even press down. So yeah, so for right now, I'm doing okay. It's just annoying, and it's a bit painful now because there's not as much moisture. Tomorrow, I have to go to the dorms to go drop off all my stuff. Oh my god, ow, that hurt. Oh, the worst part is I can't cry. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get more congested. It's just gonna hurt more. <laughs> oh God. So tomorrow I'm going to the dorms and I'm gonna meet a ton of people <laughs> looking like this. So that's what we're at right now. Talk to you tomorrow. So one thing that was pretty weird was dealing with blood clots. So if you get blood clots in your nose, that's good. That means you're healing. That means your body's trying to stop the production of all your blood. But that also means that you have to like get them out and blood clots in your nose basically are like boogers but they're bloody and they're like really hard um i'm gonna show you a picture of one of mine <laughs> just so you know if you are squeamish skip to this but here is one of my blood clots it was about the size of a blueberry which was nasty it was really gross <laughs> and yeah 
that was pretty much it. It was just being tired and keeping up with my nose. So days four and five, I didn't really film much, but I did start to feel a little better. On day four, we actually came to my dorm, which is where I am right now. Yes, I moved into my dorm at literally a week post-op from my surgery, but it's fine. So we came to my dorm, we dropped stuff off, and this was the only thing I filmed the entire day. Okay, so we're at ASU. I can't, like my nose is, is oh, it hurts. Oh, Jesus. Wearing a mask hurts. It friggin' hurts. So right now, of course, it's the COVID-19 pandemic, whoop-de-doo, great news. Um, you have to wear masks. So if you have to go to work after a couple of days and you're feeling fine, but you have to wear a mask, just know, try and get something that's a bit loose, but also covers your face, of course. I had masks from Old Navy and they fit your face really well, but it did start to hurt, especially on the bridge of my nose because of all the pressure that was being built up. So I had to like kind of walk around like picking up my mask like that. But I had good energy, especially on day four when we went to my dorm and I was doing good. This is when I started to do some normal activities. Um, I ran errands and I drove. I went to go see a friend even. It was really nice to get back to normal life. So day six, the biggest day, I got my splints out and it was the best thing ever. So what he does to take your splints out is he clips your stitches, of course, and then he just yanks them out and it's gonna feel uncomfortable because they are huge. I am not kidding, they are huge. That was my stent for comparison. This is my finger, <laughs> that's huge. So after you get your splints out, you should stop bleeding pretty fast and you're gonna feel so much better. You're gonna be able to move your nose a little bit more. You'll be able to smile correctly. It's gonna feel a lot better. Um, one weird thing that can happen right after surgery or when you get your splints out is that your teeth can go numb. <laughs> your upper lip can also go numb, but I have actually been dealing with numbness in my teeth for about a couple weeks. So it's been pretty weird, but it's completely normal. I think my teeth's going numb. Just got my splints out and like, I can't, I don't know, it just feels weird and tingly. I don't know. And now we're in present day. I am three weeks post-op right now and I'm feeling great. I can go like this, I can smile, I can do anything. Sometimes if I bump my nose a little bit, it hurts. Like even just doing this hurts a little bit, but it's not nearly as painful as it used to be. My septum is also a bit sensitive too, but it doesn't hurt as much anymore. I haven't bled at all. The bleeding started to show up um, in my boogers and now I am completely blood free in my nose. So yeah, just know if you're getting the same surgery, expect a lot of blood. If you're squeamish, you gotta get over it because you're gonna be dealing with so much blood. But yeah, I hope this was helpful. If you're getting a septoplasty, really don't worry. It's a pretty easy recovery. I was good six days after surgery to go back to work and do anything. Um, you just gotta be careful. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful and see you later.